Hello, welcome back to my channel, Me Lisa, and on today's video, I'll be giving you 10 ideas of what you can do when you're stuck at home or just super bored, as most of you are probably in self-isolation like myself. For me, it's been about a week since I've been unemployed and stuck at home. Surprisingly, I've kept myself sane until now. I found different ways to keep myself productive and busy so it doesn't feel like I am wasting my life away. I'm just taking it one day at a time. This way I can appreciate each day and live in the moment as cheesy as that sounds. So let's get to it. Here are 10 ideas of what you can do when you're stuck at home. The first one I would recommend is cleaning. Since you're going to be in this area or inside your home for a long period of time, it is best to declutter it and organize everything so then you can clear your mind and focus on other things. So what I like to do is I like to basically organize everything, throw out everything I don't need. I have a lot of clutter. I collect boxes. I don't know why. Uh, it's good to throw out everything you don't need or donate things that you don't use anymore. As Marie Kondo would say, does that bring you joy? If it doesn't, throw that shit out. Number two, learning something new. This could be a new language that you've been wanting to learn or it could be learning how to cook, for example, sushi. Um, unfortunately, the only people that are going to teach you how to make this is YouTube. So, yeah. Or you can learn a dance tutorial uh, or as a younger generation would say, learn a TikTok dance. Uh, but in this case, I think I'm going to go for the YouTube tutorial. and. This gets quite embarrassing because I don't know how to dance and I have no rhythm in me. So um, I guess you can watch this speed, this speed up version of me learning how to dance. Uh, this is quite embarrassing. Number three, home workouts. Just because you're at home all day doesn't mean that you don't have to be inactive. There's many different things that you can do to stay active, such as walking or running up and down the stairs. If you don't have any stairs, you can always do cardio workouts with YouTube videos, ab workouts, lifting heavy bags for unnecessary <laughs> amount of times. You can even meditate, do yoga, any type of movement is better than no movement at all. On to number four, meditation and self-care. I think it's so important after workouts because it lowers your heartbeat and relaxes your body. I enjoy giving myself a mini facial. I start off by washing my face with a face scrub and then gently washing off the soap. I want to open my pores because I'll be using a pore strip. By doing this, I'll be taking a small cloth and soaking it in warm to hot water warm enough to place on my face without burning it as well. I do this about two to three times. Once I'm done, I'll place a pore strip on my nose. As I wait for the strip to harden, I like to do mindfulness meditation. It allows me to think of nothing and be aware of my surroundings. I usually find one on YouTube. It's best to listen to the mindfulness meditation on earphones so you block out all the background noise. The meditation usually lasts for 10 minutes. After this, I like to peel off the strip and see what goodies I find. I know, it's so gross! Once the pore strip is gone, I enjoy using face masks. After every use, my face feels so relaxed and refreshed. Number 5. Read a book. Find a book that you've been wanting to read for the longest time but never got rotten to it because you simply just never had the time but now you have all the time in the world to read as many books as you please or if you're not much of a reader you can also listen to audiobooks those are good it's the same thing one you're just using your eyes the other one you use your ears you can maybe make a cup of tea or coffee to read with your book it makes it so much more enjoyable i don't know why but yeah just pick up a book open it and start reading you would probably be able to finish a book in a day with all this time that you have now. Number six, catch up on all the things that you have been slacking on. 
This could be all the projects or schoolwork that you have been postponing or procrastinating on, or it could be little chores that you have not been doing. But this is the time to do it because you got the time to now. Uh, what's best is to split up the tasks into smaller tasks so it doesn't feel overwhelming. In a course of a week, you can write down all of the assignments that you need to do and write down what you're going to be doing each day to complete these tasks. This way you don't feel super overwhelmed and you see that it's very doable. And because you have more time now, you can definitely take breaks in between or reward yourself each time you complete a task. Number seven, working on your hobbies. As a kid, I used to make so many arts and crafts and that slowly disintegrated as I grew up because, well, you kind of stop having time for that and you do adult stuff, which kind of sucks. <laughs> Uh, but now I have so much time I can go back to that. In the past I have been accumulating a lot of stuff from my travels such as postcards, emission passes, wristbands, bus fare, seashells, and even maps. I'd actually like to do something with this. Make pretty art with it so I can actually display it instead of having it in a box. So that way I can actually remember the memories. Number eight, connect with friends and family. Just because you're in self-isolation doesn't mean you have to disconnect from the world. Because of all the technology we have now, it makes it so much easier to connect with our friends and family. We could use social media, Skype, telephone. Remember, that was a thing. So next time you're feeling lonely, just hit up a friend. Maybe comment on people's photos or videos or or even have a three-way call. Or you could just pretend to talk to yourself like what I am doing now. <laughs> You're so funny. I have no friends. You only people do. Yeah, so we're gonna pretend that we're having a good time. I'm just laughing. Because I like to laugh for no reason. I can't have that. I don't know why you start to be proud for no reason. So, okay, this Oh, on the side note, Netflix is doing this thing now where you can actually link up your account to someone else's account and you can watch Netflix at the same time as them and even comment. Number nine, think of outfit ideas. I know this is a bit random, just bear with me. So for the longest time, I always tell myself I have nothing to wear when my closet is full. So maybe you can take photos of outfit ideas that you have now so the next time that you're running late and need something to wear, you already have an outfit in mind. This will save you so much time in the future as well and your wallet from buying new clothes because you have enough clothes so stop buying clothes. And lastly, number 10, watch something. I know this may not seem very productive, but you know, once in a while doesn't hurt. Maybe you could watch a movie or a show with the people that you're living with at the moment because you know you're not supposed to leave the house. Or even do the Netflix party that I was telling you about and link up your account with someone else's so then you can watch a movie or show with your friends at the same time and even comment about the show or the movie. It's okay to binge watch as long as you're done all the tasks that you needed to do for the day.